Hey guys, today we are making hearty taco soup, low carb style. Oh, well, how about a whole lot of fun? Don't hold the bad puns against us. No, no. Kitchen. I'm Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com and I'm Mikey from RecipesThatCrock.com and today we are going to show you a hearty taco soup that is low carb um, using our electric pressure cooker so first up we're gonna show you a really nifty trick so that you don't have to technically brown your ground beef ahead of time for this recipe what we've already done off camera is we put two pounds of raw ground beef with one cup of beef broth down into our electric pressure cooker just like that and it has partially cooked that ground beef enough for us to break it up for it to finish cooking while the it's soup cooks. not completely no, cooked. no no but we've we've got it in there so all that was is a cup of broth with two pounds of fresh ground beef let put it under high pressure for five minutes and quick release and now we're going to break it up see definitely not cooked yes. all the way through but we are going to break it up and use that as the base for building the rest of our soup and mm -hmm. that ground beef will cook the rest of the way whenever our soup is cooking just like that so you want big chunks little chunks how do you want it um not super big chunks but not like Itty bitty, you don't like, like it minced like, like I do. Like he usually like makes it to where you well, can barely. That'll break down even more right there. Yeah. So that should yeah. be good, right? About. But we do that pre-cooked step so that the. There. So good. that the ground beef will be in crumbles and not just kind of make like a ground beef patty in there. Um. So we want to do that. So to that, we are going to add four cups of beef broth. Let's see here, because um, we we have one that was already open, so we're gonna add four cups of beef broth, or I'm sorry, three more cups, because we used one cup before, so four cups total. There's it's one. divided, so one is already in there. There's two. Can you squeeze three out of there? I think you did, just about three. Yeah. Three, three and our fourth because we were using a carton from an older recipe or a different okay. recipe. Okay. Oh, I need to take the trash out. So there's our four cups of beef broth. And to that, we're going to add 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. That's one big can. You want to double check, those of you who are eating low carb style, you want to look for the tomatoes with the least amount of net carbs. That's going to depend on your grocery store and the brands available. So we're going to stir that in. And before we start adding a lot of the other um, components, the vegetables that are really going to hearty this up a little bit, we're going to add two packets of taco seasoning to this, maybe. Oh my goodness. Gotta get a knife. Everybody stand back. Yes. And I'm gonna let you stir these, stir okay. it so that it's not like a bunch of clumps. Say goodbye, clumps. Stir that in there just like that. Oh, it already smells like tacos. Let's see, break right. a chunk of beef up there in this. You ready? Come on with it. There okay. So stirring it. Oh! Mm -hmm. Making a mess. Mikey style. Okay. <laughs> to that, we're going to add a tablespoon of garlic. Give us a little bit more flavor in there. Now, we're not going to add any salt because we have that beef broth. And then we also have um, the, the seasoning for the taco seasoning. You can always add salt and pepper at the end if you want to. Um, if you feel like it needs it. We've got seven ounces of green chilies with the juices that we're also going to dump in. And now for our medley of vegetables. That Your we're medley includes one half of a great big bell pepper, so about a half cup. Half cup of chopped bell pepper. Two chopped up. Now, I look at the size of these right here. So look at that. Look at yeah. right there. See, about like that. Because they're going to break down, you're doing this under pressure, so I'm putting my peppers in bigger chunks, as well as my zucchini. Those are two 
Anaheim peppers mm -hmm. that have been seeded. Uh, they're going to add a little bit of heat. There's a little bit of capsicum in the seeds, so you want to if you want the if you want the heat, leave the seeds. But really, who likes to eat? The and seeds? if you want something spicier, you could always substitute um, jalapeno peppers in there if you would mm -hmm. rather have that. Where we just like the milder flavor, so yeah. we're going with the Anaheims. And then you want one quarter cup, or well, I'd say that's probably about a third cup, but a quarter cup as far as the recipe is concerned of chopped onion, not diced, not minced, unless you want it diced or minced. I like to have a little more chunk in my soup, so I've got mm -hmm. them chopped. And then you've got two zucchini. No. Now, let's two? talk real quick. No, you only have one, babe. I'm sorry, one zucchini. <laughs> now make sure that you're chopping up a zucchini and not a cucumber like I started to. I am bad at my veggies. We're having cucumbers as a side dish tonight. Yes. So uh, one zucchini that has been sliced and then sliced in half again and then chopped up like that so you get them in quarter size pieces just yes. like that. Now we're not putting this under pressure for a whole long time so th these sizes are going to work for us. If we were trying to do a long term pressure situation I would want all my vegetables to even be bigger chunks than this or they're just going to fall apart. Yes. So we're going to carefully try to add this stuff to our soup. I ain't missed one yet. There you go. Well, let's yeah. let's not get too. Let's not get over. cocky, Mikey. That's right. <laughs> All right. You just want to slide the rest of that. Uh, yeah, because you're kind of getting me. Am I, get, am I getting some on you? You're getting it on me, and it's well, hot. Well, that's payback. Oh. Dumping all that taco seasoning on me. Oh. But really, right now, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Well, not oh, only yeah. does this smell amazing, it also looks quite pretty. Yes. I will just say. Y'all got to get one of them close-up shots and just check that. Look at all them pretty colors. Now, it could have been even more colorful if we had, had different pe uh, color peppers mm -hmm. in there. But look at that. You got the reds from the tomato. You got the greens. Of course, you got all that juice and that meat. That is going to be yes. amazing. So, as you remember, our ground beef has just a little bit more time to cook, to become fully cooked through. Those vegetables are also going to go under pressure. So, oh, you can tell the lid had a lot of liquid in it. Okay, so we're going to pop this on seal. And we are going to cook it under high pressure for 15 minutes. And then we're going to let it naturally release for 15 minutes. So it's actually going to take you about maybe 40 minutes total to have dinner. Because it's got to come up to that pressure. And then it's going to hold that pressure. And then it's going to naturally come down for that pressure. Please. And then after 15 minutes, do that. Then off the rest. And bon appetit. And we'll, we'll be back. We'll show you what that looks like in 3, 2, 1. And we are back. And it rose up. To temperature, held it for 15 minutes, and then naturally released for 15. We vented it off the rest of the way. And if you will not set that hot lid on that camera, I will use this camera and I will show you what this pretty soup looks like right about now. So now we're gonna check that out. Stir it up. Look at those pretty colors. Mm, it smells so mm. good. This, okay. This, this RV smells real good right now. All right, so I'm gonna scoop you out some. Give me some broth with that too. I want some of that, that stock. Now, you can top this any way you want. You can use sour cream, you can use guacamole. Me, I'm a cheesy kind of guy, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of shredder cheddar, shredded cheddar, shredder, shredder cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put some cheese on top. <laughs> and not taco about it. Oh, not taco. I can't taco about it. My mouth is watering too much. I'm concerned you're gonna. You know what? What? You would be a beautiful Disney princess. In fact, I would call you Taco Bell. Get it, Taco Bell? Because uh, you're one. wearing the yellow. I like Taco Bell, but I don't. I think, think Bell's pretty too. I don't think that's the name I want to be called. So oh. shredded cheese, um, sour cream. If you have guacamole, he was pouting at me earlier because I don't have it made up. Pouting. I wasn't okay. pouting. I was whining. There's a difference. <laughs> oh. But it smells so good. You might not want to be called Belle, but you're still a beauty to me. Mm. Did you know that Belle is actually French for pretty? See? See, it's not all about tacos around here. It's also a French lesson. It's hot. It's burning my hands with this, this little bowl. Mm. Still hot. Sorry, that was an unattractive shot. <laughs> Ooh, hot. Ooh, 
good. Mm -hmm. mm. There's the heat. Part of that's coming from the taco seasoning. Part of that's coming from those Anaheim peppers. It's not like a hot hot, but it's like a... That could potentially clear my sinuses hot. It is hot hot because it just came right straight out of the, or of the, of the ninja. Mm. It's almost got the consistency of like a really good chili. You know, it's definitely a dish that I would love in cold weather. We're experiencing a little bit of that down in Texas now. When I say fit, I say cold, it's like in the 50s today. But that is good. And just for 15 minutes on that high pressure, and those vegetables are tender. They're very tender. Like that zucchini right there. Can you see the zucchini right there? That just falls, it just melts in your mouth. That is really good, babe. Yummy, mm. yummy. Oh man, that is really good. Thank you, you beauty, for feeding this beast. <laughs> hey, if you like what you're seeing here, whether it's the soup, the bad puns, the Disney references, whatever it may be, don't, give us a like down below. Don't hold the bad puns against us. No. no. <laughs> give us a like down below. Also, if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, which is our fun, loving, slow cooking, foodie cooking, um, food cooking, RV traveling, taco eating, bad pun making, family, <laughs> click the little subscribe button down below and you're automatically a member of the Crock Posse. Also, if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, click the little bell next to it that we call the Dingling. And also, y'all, whatever you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Alrighty. What hot. Yum. Mm. Who's gonna get done faster? Who's gonna get done faster? Go, 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 go. <laughs> You're gonna hurt yourself. Ah. Uh, I think something's wrong with this because it used to work around. great. I wonder if it's been dropped one too many times. Like me when I was a baby. Oh. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.